and Rush is gonna try and hold the line. There's flames everywhere. He's got a triple kill. Lexity do what nobody would have expected. Rush, what's going on, brother? Long time. Man. And we're going to start out reviewing the match against Astralis, which was their opening 2-0, which somehow you pulled off. I wanted to start here and uh, in, in round five. You guys are going to end up losing this round, but I wanted to use it to kind of set the stage because you start this map out on a five to nothing lose streak. So can you just talk a little bit about like the idea of like what was going on in these five rounds where Astralis just kind of ran out to that quick lead? I will say that in like the beginning, we definitely were making like little small like micro mistakes that we don't normally make in the, in the defaults especially like okay. we weren't playing like the same that we normally do in scrims and I think that it took us like once we knew that if we won that one round that we're going to get back into it so I think it comes after this round so this yeah. is just like a half buy or something like but I think we took this round to talk a bit as well because that's a really slow round and we're talking about what we're going to do in the next rounds yeah um but yeah we just wanted to mentally reset and we needed that one round it's kind of like when you're down like as an individual, like 0 11 or 0 10, and you get yeah. that 1 3k and it gets you back into it. Yep. Same thing here, you just gotta get that one round. This round, let's, uh, let's talk about how you guys are opening See, up these rounds just here. Just, in a, just a long rush, typical long rush we have. I get bopped instantly at times. <laughs> but we get, the long, we get long, which is the most important part about this. Like, uh, even though we lost the man, I think we kind of won it because one of the exchange, you have the because control. we have long, and it's so important at Dusty to have long. Yeah. So. I don't exactly remember what happens after this. That's pretty massive. Poison was nailing those shots all day long. Oh, yeah. He's, he hasn't missed many shots like in this entire event. And I, I'm really impressed with him. And he's, he plays like that in a lot of practices, too. So it's not like new to me, but I'm glad that he's finally getting some recognition as being like one of the top operators. This I is mean, like important to like, just to slow down, you know, sometimes. So, so low like, economy, and you're just like, yeah. let's see what the response is to these guys. You don't want to charge into anything when you get flanked or just like, you know. So we're trying to just bait out utility right now. You haven't been doing anything across the map, so you don't necessarily have information of what you're going up against. How do you kind of manage that? I think, um, well, like one thing you can do is like throwing like a small set of utility and see if they throw anything back. If they don't, then maybe they're just like waiting. But if, if they throw something back, then they wasted that, and then you can use a real utility to go up. So it really yeah. depends on what they're working with. And right here, it got really scary because they threw a smoke to get out. And it was a good trade by Config, but definitely got, I was a little scared here, especially because he missed that kill and that could have been a kill for him as well. How, how's the calling working out for you guys? I mean, it's, I know Blame F has come in as kind of the in-game leader and the captain to put this team together. I know you've also been pretty vocal um, in the mid rounds and probably drawing off your experience as well. Is that something that's designed or is that just something that's kind of developed naturally during practice? Generally speaking, like it's Ben talking the most at the start of the round and the mid round, it's definitely Ben and me. I'd say like, Mainly Ben though, because he has an idea of how he wants to play, especially versus particular teams that maybe we anti-shredded, so he knows how they're going to play. But I always find times when I need to talk, like early round, if I need to tell someone what to do, or like late round, I actually will make mid-round calls. But generally speaking, Ben is the main IGL, and he controls most of the game. Like he actually does most of the work too outside of the games, like making our strats with the coach. I think you even so, mentioned he's one of the hardest working guys right. that you've been on a team. I'll say he is the hardest worker. So okay. like, he's not like he, he, he's one of. He is the hardest. He worker. is the hardest working. So like. So, I mean, this is just going to be standard affair. Now, after this round, I mean, this is the start of what would end up becoming a 15 to 2 run from yep. you guys in this map. Did you even think that that was like a possibility against a team like Astralis? I didn't think it would be like, I didn't even think it was going to happen, but I knew it was a possibility that we could crush him for sure. But like, I, it, if the stars align, is in like, the communica communication is good, like it, it should be, the, the strats are working and their anti strats working, all these things. Like, they didn't play how we expected for the, to a good degree. So, well, that, that's that's the big question. Is this, did you feel like when you were when you were going through this run, this 15 to 2 streak, did you feel like you were outplaying them or was it just like, oh my god, we're just, dom we're just dominating these guys? We're just doing some pretty basic standard stuff, we're just winning these fights. Both. I think it was a both, yeah. I think okay. we, we were hitting a lot of shots. They were maybe a little disjointed as yeah. not, not normally. Like they don't play, they definitely didn't play how they normally play. So I think they, they looked a little rusty coming yeah, yeah. into this weekend. But then we took advantage of that fully and just like we had the, the Anistrat and we had the confidence and we just took it over, took over the game completely. So, yep. You have to imagine, do you have like a good read on their economy at this point? Do you feel? Yeah, we know they have them on the ropes for sure. Like, they, like we, our money is not like insane, but it's pretty solid. Like, yeah. we can definitely buy for two or three more rounds. So I, I think we, we can make like, not necessarily like risky plays, but we can run things that maybe wouldn't run if we were like zero money, you know? Yeah. So I think here it's another default because our default's working. Like, why stop what's like why switch working, it up? you know? So like, there's no point. So we kept doing it. But I was definitely taking the lead of this up. A very uncharacteristic miss by him, honestly. So. Yeah. Especially, well, here's another three on five. I, I mean, think this, we might lose this round. I think sure. this might be one of the two that you lose. So, yeah. I mean, how did you guys get kind of lured into that? That was like a trap set up on catwalk for yeah, them. Yeah, and I went out long because I thought that it was clear, but they've brain me in the car. <laughs> he, just, he just said in the car. But it happens. Yeah, I didn't actually know from the NSR that he likes to play there sometimes, like okay. late round, but like. Yeah, didn't expect it this early. He deleted me kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Well, everyone got deleted this round, so yeah. don't feel too shabby. Yeah, this about is a round that. that definitely didn't affect us 
uh, in the slightest, honestly. It, it sucks to be killing them to hurt their economy, Impressive. but at the same time, like, it's not a big deal because we had, we had money, we had confidence still. So. Yeah, this is the one. All right, we've skipped ahead a little bit. This is round number 14. Um, yeah. You just, they won a round and then you broke them. Now they're just on these pistols. And this round gets really sketchy, so talk me through it a little bit. There's got to be a lot of panic going on here as these yeah. kills come out. We definitely got slammed with nades here, but like, and we got like, shot through the smoke, so like 2v4, but they didn't have the like, guns, and they, I know they had no, like, a lot of armor or like, like weapons. So I'm like, I said, Owen, oh, to stay long, I'm going to go back B or like T spawn. I'm going to hold for a long time. Like, just wait, and I'm going to try to search for for mistakes, search for them to go for info. Yeah. And I told them around, I think I said around 50 seconds, I'm gonna come back. So I think it gets pretty close to me, like on the timing, I could have almost like gotten caught in the back here, but I would have cleared it before I went, obviously. No, just out of curiosity, cause I mean, you know, I have uh, some, some professional experience from, from way back in the day. When you know you have a team on the like with on on, the, on a kind of a half by, sometimes it's a bit sketchy to go out long because you know those nades yeah, next to attack risky. it. Did you know this was going to be an eco and you kind of no. just no? No, I didn't. And okay. right here, after I kill him, I was going to look for a second one, but like it's not worth it to keep going because maybe it's like a flank. So I'm like I'm just going to kill him, and then I, I faked going to B. So for the for the yeah, death cam, yeah. So like you can see, Glaive rotates pretty quickly. Then I come back and I get a free kill. Mega C wasn't expecting me, I think. Yeah, he's pushing and up. Then as I tell well. Owen there's only one A because one rotated. I saw him rotate, so I said, Go up A, go up A. Just aim him because it's a 1v1. Yeah. And he goes up and I think he gets a nice shot. You big brain bastard. This is uh, this is nice so far. Yeah. I mean, Obo just kind of wrecks him here. So, I mean, you find yourself out of a sticky situation. That's a two on four, even though it's an eco. And then a three on five was the first round you won. Yeah. That's pretty wild. It's nice. I mean, some big rounds. It's definitely going to suck to lose this, but it is close to the end of the half. So, when to like broken us or anything like that because we still have money. Uh, yes, they have money to buy, but yeah, it would be nice. It's nice to have a 9-6 from a 5-0 half. Yeah, Like, I will start. So, like, when I saw that, I kept saying, like, good shit, guys. Like, that was, like, really good half. Like, from we won nine rounds out of, you know, ten. So, that was yeah. really good. Well, cool. That's uh, that's all we had for you guys here on this match breakdown. Just a really quick one with Rush, one of their uh, best victories. Obviously, a historic victory. You guys, uh, I don't know if you saw the stat. You're the first team outside of the top, top 30. 30 to beat Astralis and best three to beat the number one team in the best of 30 or best of three. Yeah. Um, and you mentioned before we went live here that you know you knew this was possible. So, yeah. what was the conversation after this match? Team was just super happy, super excited. I think uh, it was to like celebrate a little bit, but also like we have more matches to play. We can't just let one victory like make us like. On top of the world, but yeah. definitely helped our confidence going forward. Like, we can destroy anyone here after we all awesome. that. Well, that's great. Thanks, Rush. I appreciate your time, yeah, brother. No worries. Thanks for watching. If you guys like this, then you'll definitely like these. And make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you guys soon enough.